After three stages of online qualification, the seven age divisions in the Masters women's field are set to take the floor to crown the fittest in their age groups in Madison, Wisconsin very soon. Kayla Banfield here with three-time Affiliate Cup champ, Adrian Conway. And Adrian, today we're focusing on the four oldest divisions for the Masters women. So let's start with the 50 to 54 year old division, where the three-way battle between Kim Purdy, Taya Gebby, and Cheryl Brost are getting another sequel. It's true, they're getting a sequel and it's not a boring one. So it's more of the same, but it's not in a bad way. First and second place in this age group semi mirror first and second place of last year's CrossFit Games in this division. The reigning champ, M. Purdy, won the age group semi with Taya Gebby taking second. Now, Gebby's showing to me that she is more of a home run hitter with two first place finishes in that semi. And to me, that really could make her more of a threat with more points available than just six scores at the CrossFit Games. And fans will remember the three time games individual competitor, Cheryl Brost, who came in third this year in the age group semi. She's competed as a Masters at the game six times and took back-to-back -back wins in that 45 to 49 division in 2016 and 17. And it seems to me like she'd want nothing more than to be back on top of the podium, but this time in a new age group. You're not wrong, Adrian. And I mean, all things considered, I honestly think that this might be one of the premier divisions to watch this year in Madison. But of course, let's not forget the 55 to 59 year old division where Shanna Bunce is looking to repeat her champion performance from last year. That's right, Shanna Bunce is certainly someone that we've got to think about, but another notable is Lee Coates, who finished second in the division in last year's games, but this year won the age group semifinal. We've seen this in a few of the age brackets where the winner from the previous games has switched places with the previous champion. Are they just hungrier? I don't know. And then of course, we've got Shanna herself, who finished third in this year's age group online qualifiers. Now, the question to me is, is Shanna slipping or is she simply peaking for when it matters most in Madison? Meanwhile, Lori Mashiznik is making her 10th games appearance. A decade here at the games, that's amazing. And something that we can't ignore because of course, that's gonna give her experience. And of course, she's got the tenacity to be a top level competitor. It's very impressive, that's for sure, especially in that age group. Now, Adrian, let's move over to the 60 to 64 year old division where we are blessed with CrossFit royalty in the form of dominance and longevity. That's right, blessed to say the least. Lynn Knappman is in number lucky 13. That's right, it will be her 13th CrossFit Games appearance. She has qualified for every Masters CrossFit Games since 2010. Now, to me, that is completely jaw-dropping, but what a great example of aging across demographics and continuing to prioritize your fitness. Now, that's a cool stat, but get this one. Susan Clark has gone undefeated in every games she's participated in. I don't know that anyone else can actually say that. Most recently, she's competed at the 2021 games. She did not compete in the 2022 games, but she is a five times Masters game champion, which means that she's bolstering a five and O. Oh. So that means when she chooses to show up, you better watch out. <laughs> Gonna be exciting to watch as always. Let's finish off with the 65 plus women's division. Champion Julie Holt will look to hold off a woman who aged up and another who's making her games debut. And holding them off won't be very easy because we've got 65-year-old Pauline Shia Shia who came in 10th last year at the games in the women's 60 to 64 division. She's now aged up this year and won the age group semifinal. We see this traditionally where athletes begin to age up. They're the new blood in an older category and they get an opportunity to show off. Not to mention Deva Jensen, who's 65, will make her games debut after finishing second in the age group semifinal. She might show up wide eyed and very excited, but she's going to have the capacity to make a run at the podium. And then lastly, of course, we've got Julie Holt herself, who won the games in this division last year and finished third in the semifinal. So considering those two competitions, in my eyes, she is still the wholehearted favorite, and I'm sure she's going to show up to be on top of the podium in Madison. Thanks, Adrian, and a huge good luck to all of the women competing this year. The game starts on August the 1st and wraps up on August the 6th. For all of the most up-to-date information, make sure to check out games.crossfit.com.